A bag contains five red, three white, and two blue marbles. Okay, and again, that means there's ten marbles total here. That's, we want to know that. Okay, it's important to get that straight. Two marbles are selected in succession. What is the probability of drawing? Now we're doing, as soon as we got two events here, typically in these questions we're talking about either independent or dependent events. Okay, mutually exclusive, non-mutually exclusive is typically we're, we're talking about one event that could happen in one or more different ways. Still just one event though. Here we've got multiple events happening. So without replacement, let's say that you're not putting that marble back. So then the probability of getting two red marbles, okay, so that would be red on the first one and red on the second one, is going to be the probability of getting a red on the first one multiplied by the probability of getting a red on the second given that a red happened on the first. Because these are going to be dependent, okay. If you're not putting that marble back, it, the probability is changing here. So there were five red to start off with, so that's five tenths, or five out of ten. And now, when you go back in for that other marble here, there's going to be four red marbles because we're assuming success on the first one. We always assume success when we're talking probability. But there's only nine marbles left to, to choose from. Uh, when we simplify this, uh, what I would do with this is five times four is twenty, divided by ten is two. So the answer becomes two ninths. Okay, there's a two out of nine probability. Uh, the probability of getting two red marbles is going to be two out of nine here. Now, what if the first is a red and the second is a blue? So again, probability of getting a red on the first one and a blue on the second, without putting that marble back in, the, even though the number of, of blues doesn't change, the number of marbles total does change. So the probability of getting a red multiplied by the probability of getting a blue as the second marble given that red was the first marble. Okay? And so the probability of getting a red again is just five tenths. The probability of getting a blue is going to be two ninths. Okay? Because two red mar sorry, two blue marbles and only nine uh, marbles total in the bag or whatever it is that we're grabbing them out of. Now, simplify this, five times two is 10, divided by that 10 is just gonna be one. Sorry, so the total probability here is gonna be one ninth. Now, change the scenario a little bit. Let's assume that we're putting that marble back. So one is red and one is white, okay? So now that could be the probability of getting a red and a white, or a white and a red. Okay. Now, there are two different ways that this total uh, scenario could play itself out here, and those are going to be mutually exclusive. It is not possible to be red and white and then white and red like, if order is important here. Okay, you can't have those both simultaneously happen. So this is going to be the probability of red and white plus the probability of white and red. Okay. Now. These guys here, because you're putting the marble back in, these are going to be independent. So this will be the probability of getting a red times the probability of getting a white. This will be the probability of getting a white multiplied by the probability of getting a red. They are independent. Now I can just plug these things in. The probability of getting a red will be 5 out of 10. Oops. The probability of getting a white is going to be 3 out of 10. The probability of getting a white in the second scenario here is 3 out of 10. The probability of getting a red is 5 out of 10. Okay? And so what we've got here is this is going to end up being 15 out of 100 plus 15 out of 100. That is going to be 30 out of 100 or 3 tenths. Okay? 3 tenths. Now, let's take a look at this other situation here just the probability that they're the same colors. So this is going to be the probability, this is going to be a, a beefy one, this is going to be the probability of being red and red, or white and white, or blue and blue. Oh boy, a lot going on there. Now these are not, you can't have them happen together. So we've got some or situations here, they can't happen simultaneously. These are mutually exclusive. 
So this is going to be the probability of getting red and red plus the probability of getting white and white plus the probability of getting blue and blue. And because we're putting the marbles back in, these are independent. Once we get to these little and events here, these are independent. So this will be the probability of red multiplied by the probability of red plus the probability of white multiplied by the probability of white plus the probability of blue multiplied by the probability of getting a blue. And this will be, well there were five reds, so this will be five out of ten times five out of ten plus this will be three out of ten multiplied by three out of ten and this over here will be two out of ten multiplied by two out of ten. Now I could simplify the little fractions here along the way, like make this a half and a half and whatnot, but I don't want to do that because I like the fact that when I multiply this together, this will be a hundred, this will be a hundred, this will be a hundred. I like the fact that all the denominators are the same here. So I know my, my end here, my denominator is going to be one hundred. Five times five is twenty-five. Three times three is nine. Nine and twenty-five is going to be thirty-four. Two times two is four. So 34 plus 4 is going to be 38, okay? So now we get 38 out of, uh, out of 100 here. So we can simplify that a little bit. Uh, this becomes 19 out of 50. I don't know that that really makes it much clearer, but at least it's been simplified. So there we go. So having the same colors, again, that creates this set of, of uh, mutually exclusive events. But each one of those consists of independent events when I put those together.